What's going on guys? It's Phoenix back for another video. Figured I would do this in our little like sunroom porch situation. Um, it's the wife's birthday. She's taking a nap right now because uh, we're both a little under the weather and we both got up a little bit early this morning. She had a nine o'clock meeting for work. She likes sleeping in, yada, yada, yada. Um, anyway, mostly irrelevant. Um, I was ordering a couple other things from Amazon when we got, when we were on our way back from vacation. And I figured why the hell not order legacy shadow striker here I forget if it's the united line i think it is the united line um because not really vibing with the sideburn version of the mold which is this obviously is a pre-tool of um and i just wanted to see if all the the fuss about how crap this figure is was actually true if i'm being completely honest um and let's just jump into it without further rambling um so the weapon storage you can obviously tell that's just stupid but it's Hasbro these days. Um, it could just be because of how I have it with the last time I transformed it. Or shed it. Shadow Striker here. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, I know. It's just, it's fiddly getting the roof part here to tab in fully, as you can see. Because, um, yeah, you know, you put pressure there. Oh, see, that part's not even tabbed in to the door panel. Um... They really should not have put such an integral tab on the door panel there. But yeah, with everything kind of tabbed in here at the front, you still got a gap there. And especially in the back. That's, I know, that's just not the best design, if I'm being honest. Um, but anyway, honestly, the car mode itself is not that bad. It's pretty cool. Um, not a fan of the pinned wheels. And the deco is a little bit plain. But I think this is supposed to be like an homage to the toy from R.I.D. 2001 and from Shadow for Shadow Striker in uh, 2015 rid, so whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, because fun fact, the Shadow Striker 2001 toy was a retool of um, that year's sideburn. So, yeah, full circle, 23 years later. Anyway, uh, let's do some parts forming. We're going to pop this off, which is a thing. Let's wiggle that. There we go. Get that up and out of the way. I literally just leave this plugged in because this whole assembly is just a pain in the butt to tab on um, once you get the figure, if you do still get the figure. I'll tab those. Let's free up the legs. And then let's bring those out. Swing those down, that'll free up the hood chest situation. Bring the legs down, fold out the feet. I sound a little bit meh. Um, we've both been under the weather, like I said at the top of the video, since getting back from vacation. And the cold that I have just seems to not want to go away. So yeah. And I'm also trying to be quiet because she's taking a nap, or is about to. And noise travels in this house from, um, room to room. Like, when we've had family visit, I definitely hear them down here. In my, like, our second bedroom slash my office um, is, like, that way above. Anyway, so we've got this happening. Bring this down. Tab, port. And then port, tab, which you can't really see, but I'm not going to adjust the lighting because I don't really care. And, yeah. Get all that lined up. Keep those door panels flared out. Collapse that. And then I take the rear bumper, which technically you're supposed to do this with because, you know, that's what Sideburn's weapon was. And then blast effect, pew pew. But like, this just looks stupid, in my opinion. So I literally just, um, and you can't even really do this because the little nub where am I? That little nub right there. Which again is stupid. So I honestly just give Shadow Striker the gun as normal. And then take this. And then as I drop it. Take that little port. Port it in right there on the arm. Just for I guess dual shielding or whatever. I don't know. It gets it out of the way. Gun goes in the hand. And you know. The the robot mode itself is not bad. I know nothing about Shadow Striker from any like the 
comics or whatever, wherever this character was even a thing outside of the BotCon stuff, but, like, the robot mode is not bad. My biggest issue, I don't even really mind the kibble because it's kind of cape-like. Same thing with this, you know, whole half the car mode shield thing. Just make sure it's it stays plugged in because um, you don't really need a parts form it on and off. It's just, it's a thing. Uh, just a weird design choice there. And I like the head sculpt. My biggest issue is that. And we're just going to leave that there because YouTube thumbnail. The, the shoulders are, let me actually get her. There we go. The shoulders are so far back from the head. Like, I don't know why they didn't just, like, engineer this at the deluxe price point where there was some other way to have the shoulders tap in here to the side of the chest. Because that just looks, that just looks bad, if you ask me. They're really far back. You can see better from there. But, you know what? Pretty decent figure. Um, honestly, if I had even bothered with that whole, like, continuing, oh, like, oh, I bought a figure that a lot of people didn't like, but I like it in defense of thing, um, that I was doing a while back on this channel, um, this would probably be somewhere in that mix, but, you know, it's pretty good. Um, I honestly just got this for something to fiddle around with in case Masterpiece Rhinox didn't come, um, within, uh, before literally another trip, um, but that one's just to see family and everything, but anyway. Lexi Shadow Striker, perfectly fine. Not worth all the hate, but honestly, I don't really care about getting cyber, so yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys around.